Photo engraving is a very explosive part of the laser engraving industry. The most important step is the first one, and that is getting a good quality image. This very first image that I'm clicking on, as you can see, is very small. This is actually what one of the uh, daycare teachers emailed to me of my son many years ago. You can see it's very small, and if I want to resize it, make it larger, it just becomes pixelized. And anything pixelized is not going to turn out very nice. So we have to start at square one here. So what I did was I emailed the teacher and said, please email me your original. So this is the image here. And when I went to look at the image quality, again, we're looking at very low kilobytes. I went into the details, and I'm over here at 180 DPI. It's important that we start at a minimum of 300 DPI. So I did some manipulation on my own, and that's when I got this image. And it came out to a little bit higher kilobytes, but again, with the details, I have my 300 DPI, which is very good. And I have a somewhat larger file size in the dimensions of the image, but I need it even better. So what I did was I got the original image and I printed it. I printed it out to a very nice looking five by seven. Then I put the printed image into my scanner and I scanned it. This allowed me to choose my own settings. I went into change settings. Now all scanner interfaces will look a little different, but my scanner wanted to scan at 200 PPI, which certainly was not enough. So I wanted to change the settings on it. I looked for an advanced settings button and I went in and I said scan it at 600 PPI and then that's how I scanned the image. This allowed me to get a much higher quality image at a much higher DPI. So if someone brings you a photograph, you can scan it using these settings. Or if they email you a digital version, you can try to print it and then scan it yourself at much higher quality settings. So now this is my scanned image. And let's look at the properties. And now I'm looking, it's a five megabyte image, which is incredible. It's much better than using an image that's only a kilobytes. We go into the details. It is, six, it is 600 DPI, and look at the file size. I can engrave a very large portrait of this image, much larger than, say, a 2x3 or 4x6. This file size gives me so much more flexibility when laser engraving a photo. One other thing to keep in mind with images is also contrast. So looking at these images right here, this one is of Alexa, and you can see she just blends in with everything. Everything is just kind of a white color. So when I go to photo engrave it, there, she doesn't stand out. She really just blends in with the background. So look for images where there is a lot of contrast between the subject and its background, and you'll get a much better quality image. So for quality of image, you want to make sure you're looking for a large file size, a 300 DPI minimum, Scan at a high resolution if you have to scan the image, and look for a good contrast between the subject and the background. And these are the beginning steps of getting a great engraved product. Look for our other videos in this series for the next steps.